Hello everyone and welcome again to the channel. Today we're going to do a levelized cost of hydrogen in 5 minutes. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up to the video. Let's go. If you follow our YouTube channel, you know that I have done a video on how to build a LCOE or levelized cost of electricity in 5 minutes. So today we're going to do it, but for hydrogen. Here I have all the infrastructure we need for the inputs. So we have the hydrogen production in kilo. We have the hydrogen production in kilograms per year, which is 70 million. We have the electrolyzer stack capacity in megawatt, which is 100 megawatts. We have the total capex, which is 1,500 USD per kilowatt. The OEN is a percentage of the capex, 1.5% per year. The water costs, which is 0.021 dollars per kilogram of hydrogen we have the energy consumption here times the electricity cost which is 30 usd per megawatt hour the insurance which is 0.5 percent of the total capex 15 years is our period of analysis and our discount rate is 4.5 percent let's go do the calculations now okay so we have a set 15 years here okay so for the hydrogen production we already have the number which is 70 million here okay and the total capex is going to be equal to what's going to be equal to 100 times uh, 1,500 times 1,000. Okay, so that's our total capex. And we need now to do for the OEM. OEM is going to be equal to what? It's going to be a percentage of the capex. So it's going to be this times 1.5% here. The water cost is going to be equals what? It's going to be 0 0.021 times hydrogen production. I'm going to get in here. Electricity cost is going to be this number here times 30. Insurance is a percentage of capex, so it's this number times this number. And the total is going to be the sum of everything, right? So it's going to be this number here, okay? Uh, yeah, so just correct to me. So that's what we have for the calculations. Let's going to keep going. Next, let's going to plug in these numbers here in the timeline. Okay, so just to confirm, whenever we have a period zero, it means the construction year, and for all the other periods is the operation year, okay? So for hydrogen production, what we're going to have, you're going to have equals what if this number here differs from zero, okay? Which means it's operations, so then it's gonna, we're going to have this one here. Otherwise, otherwise we're going to have zero. Let me copy and paste this across, and that's correct, okay? So I'm going to copy this here. For the cutbacks, we have to change. It has to be equals to zero because we need to have, sorry, we need to have the number. If it's zero, then we want the number. Otherwise, we don't need it because it's operation. So cutbacks, all the cutbacks goes during the, all the cutbacks goes during the construction period. So that's correct. And now we just copy this here and I'm just going to face across. That should so that should make everything correct, except that I don't need this here. Okay, so essentially, uh, what we have here, we have only the costs being accounted for during the operational years, right? That's what we need. Okay, I'm gonna add a sub here. It's gonna be equals to this sub here. Oops, what's wrong here? Okay, this is wrong. Okay, so I'm gonna copy and paste this across, and that's correct, right? So to finalize, we need to calculate the NPV because the NPV goes into the LCOH formula, right? Just to remember, the LCOH calculation is the same as for the LCOE, which is the NPV of the costs, of the sum of the costs, divided by the NPV of the production, right? This particular case here, hydrogen production. So that's going to calculate the NPV. So the NPV is going to be equal to the NPV of what? The rate. I'm going to fix the rate here. And the values, right? So I'm gonna get the values in here plus this number here. Okay, and I just recorded another video where I explained the difference between the NPV and the XNPV, when it should use each other and what's the difference and why sometimes they bring different results. Okay, so please watch the video so you can really understand the difference in why when and why to use NPV or XNPV. So I calculate here so I can just cop this thing across. And I'm gonna cop here uh, formula. So, oops, sorry. I'm gonna cop. I'm gonna paste this thing here. Okay, and I will just cop and paste here. 
Okay, so we have all the NPVs in here. Just checking if everything's correct. If I didn't make anything, any mistake, apparently everything's correct. So now we can just basically come down here and calculate the LCOH. It's going to be equal to the sum of the NPV of the cost. So this, comma, this. And we're going to divide by the NPV of the production, which is in here. It's $2.55 per kilogram. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up. See you soon.